Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lucas over at Man Made, and today I'm going to install a brand new Newall NMS 800 DRO from KBC Tools on this Bridgeport J-Head that I've been rebuilding. Alright, so first I'm just going to do a brief overview of all the components, and then we'll see about setting it up on this machine. Now, every machine is a little different, and it will require some drilling, some tapping, some custom mounting. So we're going to go over the parts, we're going to go over the machine and how I'm going to mount it, and then we're going to get after it. Okay, so here are my components. Here's the actual computer itself, power supply and transformer. This is one portion of the mounting arm. I've already got the other portion, the base portion, mounted to the machine. Here are my two encoders. We have some zip ties and some mounting hardware. Here are scale mounts and encoder mounts, a grounding strap, and then our two rails with protective covers. This is it. This is the system. So each encoder connects to the computer. The encoders have the rails, the rails, slide through the encoders, and they must be mounted to the machine. So we've obviously got our x-axis here and our y-axis here. Now let's take a look at the machine and how we're gonna mount it. Okay, so this is a pretty standard Bridgeport J-Head. It's got the 42-inch table. Now I wanna mount my encoder and scale on the back of the table. So for me, the scale is gonna mount to the table. So for this, my scale is gonna mount to the back of this table. So I'll drill some mounting holes there and then the actual encoder is going to mount right here to the back of the knee. As for the y-axis, let's look under here. So as for the y-axis, I've got three factory holes that are drilled and tapped into the casting. I may be able to use them, I may not. The scale itself is going to go right along here along this line where the holes are, and then the actual encoder is going to mount again to the bottom of the knee right in here. Now as far as the mount itself goes for the computer, I've designed and built this assembly up here that bolts into the existing half 13 hole on the top of the rim and put the computer put the screen at whatever angle I would like now you could mount this this is the portion that comes with the DRO you could mount this anywhere on the machine you'd like you could mount it to here you could mount it however you'd like this is what I chose to do I've got my base here I've got the second articulation arm here and my computer should be right around here so that'll be a really good setup for me all right so now we've gone over the components what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start to fit up the scale to the back of these machines. So I'm going to grab the X scale, the encoder, I'm going to see how it all fits back here. So I've got a good figure on how I'm going to mount the scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to use these brackets that come with the scale and I'm going to use one of these short studs. So what I'll do is this stud down on the end here, I'll drill and tap a hole that this stud will screw into. And once this stud is screwed into the table, this will go on and tighten, clamp that, and the scale will run through this hole. And I'll do that on both sides, and that'll support the scale on both ends. Then what I'll be able to do is get this encoder mounted to the knee, and that should take care of the x-axis. You'll notice how simply this is going together. Unlike many other DROs, this new all DRO utilizes scales that are just simple stainless rods with encoders as opposed to the glass scales and the fully contained scales that many other DROs use. Those are a lot more difficult and a lot more time consuming to install. You can see just how simple the install on this is. Two mounts for either end of the scale and two bolt holes for the encoder, done. Easy to adjust, easy to install, much more durable.
So I've got the X axis mounted. So what I did, I drilled and tapped two M8 by 1.25 holes in either end of the table. And I used the longer version of these studs, which thread in and provide a stud to mount these brackets to. So I did that on either end and that supports the scale. And then in the center, I used one of the flat brackets that came with the encoders. And what I did was I mounted the encoder to the bracket and then I mounted the bracket to the back of the saddle. All right. So I'm now sitting here underneath table. So I'm gonna get this mocked up in a, in a way that works. And then I'll use the positioning of this to identify where my holes, my M8 holes are gonna be for the, uh, for the scale. Okay, so I've got my Y-axis all mounted up. I use this block to bolt sideways into the encoder and then vertically up into the bottom of the knee. And then I've got my mounts right over here. Let's get the uh, computer itself mounted. All right, so I've got the computer mounted to the arm. It goes wherever I want. Now, very important part, right here is the ground screw. So this has to have a chassis ground. This has to be grounded to the machine itself. The kit comes with a grounding cable. And fortunately, in my instance, what I'm able to do is actually ground this to the mount on the top of the machine. All right, so this is the new wall NMS 800, brand new DRO. I got mine from KVC Tools and Machinery. This is a two axis setup on my Bridgeport J head that I've been rebuilding. I've got my scales mounted. I gotta finish routing my wires, but I'm gonna route the rest of these after I put the head on so I can route the power cable and everything all at once. This is a perfect setup and I am thrilled. This mill just got a lot more precise. So thank you so much to KBC Tools and Machinery for helping out with this Bridgeport rebuild and providing this DRO for me. I am over the moon. Accuracy of this machine just went up tenfold. So thank you. Check out their website. They have an amazing online catalog. They even have an app and uh, find anything you need including this DRO at KBC Tools.